Inot is a German-based skincare line that has a multi-weighted hyaluronic acid serum called Hypercharged Glass Skin Serum that sells for 320 US dollars for one fluid ounce. <laughs> According to Buy Not Skin Care website, they said that this hypercharged glass skin serum, hyaluronic acid, it uses a delivery system that's very similar to an elevator where very quickly they can deliver the different ingredients to the different layers of the skin. For example, the large molecules of the hyaluronic acid serum stays on top of the skin and brings immediate hydration to the skin. It's less likely to be irritating to the skin or bring on inflammation to the skin. Now the space in between the skin cells is so small that it is impossible for the larger molecules of the hyaluronic acid to penetrate in between those skin cells. So the larger molecule stays on top of the skin, so the surface layer of the skin, and the benefit of that is it actually brings immediate hydration to the skin. That's where the cross-linked and the liposomal hyaluronic acid is more effective because those are in basically a carrier unit that helps prevent the physical and chemical breakdown of the hyaluronic acid because the smaller molecular weight of the hyaluronic acid can cause some inflammation in the skin. So the best type of hyaluronic acid seems to be uh, hyaluronic acid that have both the larger molecules of the hyaluronic acid or the basically the multi-weighted where they have both large, medium, and small molecules of hyaluronic acid. Initially, only the larger molecules of the hyaluronic acid only stayed on the top of the skin. There are several clinical studies now that have shown that the nano levels, so the really small um, molecules of the hyaluronic acid can penetrate the skin. One of the clinical studies that was done over eight weeks included 33 women with an average year of 45.2 years. What the nanohyaluronic acid treatments showed over the course of eight weeks in these women were a decrease of skin wrinkles of up to 40% and an increase of skin hydration of up to 96% and up to 55% with an increase of elasticity and firmness of the skin. Hi, my name is Christy and I have been professionally treating clients for over 12 years in the areas of hyperpigmentation, acne, fighting, violence and wrinkles and other skin conditions for over 12 years. And actually today we're gonna to be comparing two hyaluronic acid serums. So one of them is the Buy Not. That is $320. <laughs> And this is the multi-weighted hyaluronic acid, and this is a regular hyaluronic acid from SkinCeuticals, which is $85. Both of them are one fluid ounce hydrating B5 gel. Now what I did actually over the course of, uh, it's almost going on three and a half weeks, is on the right side, I used this serum, and on the left side, I used the SkinCeuticals. And we're going to be comparing the two on what I found, what the effects of it did with my skin. So this hyaluronic acid serum is free of parabens, pegs, silicones, and paraffins. And it has a combination of eight different types of hyaluronic acid to deliver the different molecular weights to the different layers of the skin. So you can see it's not clear. It kind of has this like flesh, peach flesh color. And it's a little bit thicker. Okay, so you can see the difference. Now, obviously, this hyaluronic acid, multi-weighted, has more ingredients that I'll explain. But let's just put a drop on here. And you can see that it is thicker. Oops. Let's see. So if we focus it down, you'll see that the hyaluronic acid of the SkinCeuticals runs off a lot faster. So it's a lot more fluid where this one is a lot more thicker with other ingredients. So as you can see, the Buy Not Hyaluronic um, Serum has way more ingredients than the SkinCeuticals ingredients. Uh, the other thing is if you look on here, the fourth ingredient is Lactobacillus portulaca 
Oleracea ferment. And that is basically the fermentation of the purslane plant. And that is a very strong anti-inflammatory and antioxidant. Um, this is also in the astaxanthin serum that I use. Um, it is, purslane is a succulent plant and it's very rich in antioxidants and it helps actually stabilize the vitamin C that's in here. So the thing that I notice that's different is it actually contains the barley extract and hops extract and that contains selenium which helps with pore size and that I did see by using this the texture and the pore size of my skin was different than the other side that had the just regular regular hyaluronic acid. The other antioxidant that's in here is the seventh ingredient, which is tocopherol acetate, and that's vitamin E. Ubiquinone, which is a lipophilic um, antioxidant, also known as coenzyme Q10. Q10. Um, it does have antimicrobial and anti-inflammatory um, properties, especially for people who have rosacea. Now, what this has that the other one does not have is the ceramides, and that, um, is the glycosphingolipids. So this ingredient is beneficial for those of you who are using Retin-A or Retinol-based products or any leave-on exfoliants because this ingredient actually helps strengthen and restore the skin's natural barrier functions and helps increase moisture binding capabilities and it also stabilizes skin structures. So on my left side where I'm holding the SkinCeuticals, that is the side that I use the hyaluronic acid consistently on my face and my neck. And then on the right side where the hand that I'm holding the Binoct is the side that I use the multi-weighted hyaluronic acid serum. So the SkinCeuticals hyaluronic acid basically has four ingredients. It's very simple. Um, in addition to the water, it has a preservative and cas calcium pantothenate, which is a water-soluble form of vitamin B complex, and sodium, hy sodium hyaluronate or hyaluronic acid. So if you're using a vitamin C serum, and I'm not talking about the one with hyaluronic acid, you're using an actual designated antioxidant serum. This, sorry, I just exfoliated my face. So the next thing you wanna do, and this is just an example, okay? So you're gonna use your antioxidant serum. This on freshly exfoliated face, you're gonna take this and you're gonna apply it directly onto your skin. Okay, so after you've freshly exfoliated your skin, you're going to apply the serum directly on the skin. Okay, I like it. And this is just really for demonstrative purposes only. And you're gonna wait until this is fully absorbed. You're not gonna go right away to, in this, if you're using a hyaluronic acid serum, you're not gonna put the hyaluronic acid serum right after you put it on there because it's going to dilute. So you're just going to gently massage this in until it's completely rubbed in. Okay, so this is the step where you would, now this one, remember, this one is a lot more fluid. So you're going to add a couple drops to, and I'm, remember, I'm keeping it on one side of the face. You'll see it's a lot more glowy, kind of has that glass skin texture and this is where you don't have to wait you do not have to wait until this dries you actually don't want it to because you want it to be attracted to water so here's a couple things you can do if you can use a toner spray this is actually a nano spray thing which you can actually let's see if it works this is actually more uh, clinical studies have shown that this actually works better on your skin So it's a very, very fine mist and it actually penetrates while your hyaluronic acid is on your skin. Okay, How, and I, I put the botanical biopeptide on here just in case you're wondering what that was. Okay, and, so the, and this is where you would put your moisturizer on here. However, for those of you who are using the Myolift, and now we're going to use the Myolift. <laughs> What you can do is you can use the conductivity gel. I'm using the hydrating gel treatment 
and you're going to brush it all over your skin. So obviously this side is the one that has the hydrate, hydrating gel treatment that's still on here. The other side is I use the Buy Not one. Now the, the major difference that I found was the hyaluronic acid, real, you could feel that immediate hydration right away. Um, and it stayed plumper and smoother. However, the, the texture of my skin and the tone of my skin did not, I didn't see very much difference, but as far as like the plumping, I saw more of a difference in this one. So if that's what you're looking for, this is probably a better one for you. Why not had a longer list of ingredients. What I found with this one was the pores were finer, finer. it was like tighter. The skin texture was much better on the skin. Um, and the hydration was good, uh, but you could see an overall difference in appearance on, with this one. Um, but the, as far as like the surface level hydration, this one seemed to be better as far as texture wise that you could feel it. This one was appearance wise. You can, you can tell like the pores seemed to be, a much, it, it just was a more smoother texture. So it just depends. I don't know if any of you guys are willing to try something that's $325 because that is a lot, but I wanted to tell you the difference between the two. This video is being sponsored by Skin Store, in which I could select any of the products in there and I was so intrigued by this $320 hyaluronic acid serum and I wanted to compare it to another hyaluronic acid serum. You can use the link in the description below for 25% off these two products or any other skincare products that you are interested in. However, some exclusions do apply. Now, if you came to this video because your skin is perpetually dry or dehydrated and you want a hyaluronic acid serum or your skin is dry and no matter if you use this your skin may need this so catch this video right here and remember makeup is an art skincare is a science do 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 we're finished do 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 yay